Rivers and Key to jump center, and the opening tip is controlled by NC State. Looked like Tennessee had it instead. It's the speedy Isaiah James who gets the game's first two points. On average, six rebounds a game. Does it all for this NC State team. James working with Baldwin. Dumped down the Baldwin. Great start for the Wolfpack. Think about the athleticism, the skill along the perimeter. They've got bigs inside. I think Tennessee has the favor in terms of depth. Obviously, they're going to establish Tamara Key and her <laughs> playing in the state of North Carolina. From right next door in Cary, North Carolina. Madison Hayes off to James, defended by Powell. Off balance and NC State red hot in the early going. I think it's going to come down to just players making shots. Everybody's going to key in on Rakia Jackson, but already a great start. Okay, here the stars are shining. Powell with the rebound and the point guard will bring it across half court. Kicks it over to Puckett, good shooter on the way. Two tees, and now. then we, you follow up, no buts about it, so it all works. Another one off the run, that's a good look at what the junior from Virginia Beach can do. Well, early in the preseason, these two teams actually had a close scrimmage, so some familiarity with each other, although Jules Spear did not play in that game. Wow, how about Jackson? James, good three-point shooter. Jackson out to defend the line. Rivers on the pull-up. <laughs> NC State is five of six. So the foul on Rivers, her first, and again, Rakia Jackson, that's a deep two. It is about as dialed in as we've seen Tennessee throughout the year. Rivers with the spin, the finish, and the foul. For Westmore, but that play created by River Baldwin. Rivers in transition, dangerous, but delivers the and one. Look at the spin move, works. Jules Spear has played in this building before, spent three seasons at Wake Forest, looking for her first shot, gets it for a two, and gets the roll. Jules outstanding in the postseason. Win all the ways. For two, splitting defenders. Kyle Wynn, offense is a bonus for her. C State. This thing back and forth right now. Everybody playing their best basketball. Kyle Wynn, look, nobody really stops ball in transition. Jackson, hesitation, waits, and scores again. Rakia Jackson with 14. More noise being made by the Tennessee fans right now than the NC State fans. Baldwin inside again. That one drops, and the rebound for Sonia Rivers, and you know she wants to run. The swing to Hayes, good shooter, sets for three. For Tennessee and Sonia Rivers, the court awareness finds her shooter, spot up, oh, a little hesitation. Here's Tess Darby, can't keep your hands down on her, she'll launch from three, can't hit this time, and here's Brooks. Inside of a minute to go here in the first quarter, Brooks spins it in for her first two. That was. Not for Kelly Harper, though. She did not play for Kelly Harper before coming here to NC State. There's Brooks on the pull-up for two. I know that both coaches, though, have a tremendous amount of respect for each other. Puckett turned it over. Another turnover for Tennessee. Live ball turnover, turning into points. Brooks. James. Collins on the turnaround. First points for Mimi Collins. Tennessee has got to take better care of the basketball. Here's Powell. Powell on the push. Powell to the basket for two. Jasmine Powell, the team leader in assists, also puts in nine points a game. Look at that speed. You cannot sleep on Isaiah James. What is NC State doing differently defensively to try to neutralize Rakia Jackson, Steffi? Well, they're, they're, they're making her get the ball out of her hands. And that's, that's the great thing if you're defensively trying to stop her. Here's Jackson. Wanted to return it to Holly Shed, but instead Rakia will do it herself after 14 in the first quarter. Rivers against Hollingshed for two. <laughs> Powell 
now looking for offense. Can't find it. There's James. James with a handle. James with a push. James with a finish. Brooks on the pillow. NC State making the most of those second chance opportunities. Double digit lead for the first time tonight for the Wolfpack. Puck it with the turnaround for two. Some of those have been on makes. They're getting out quickly. And James Brooks and Rivers have been dynamite in the paint. James gets go. the roll. Here comes NC State in transition one more time. Brooks launching the three. Oh, Wolfpack right now. NC State in that first round game shot 27% from the three-point line. And Kelly Harper was telling us statistically, maybe they're not a great three-point shooting team, but they're streaky. And when they get hot, everybody can get hot. And you see James. Drop back to Rivers. Rivers off balance for two more. Crowd trying to push the Wolf back across the finish line. Seven for Brooks. Brooks through traffic. The kick. Cox. You knew that was going down. You just knew it. Trying to keep that going here in the third. That's off the mark of Collins. Got inside for the rebound. Too easy for Mimi Collins. 17 in that game against Green Bay. Just two today against NC State. They got to be more aggressive defensively. That's an adjustment they can make. Jackson makes an adjustment inside to score. Powell comes up with a three-point shot. Normally not her thing. At NC State as a whole, the balance that they play with. You would think, too, this is an easy call for Kelly Harper as Rivers to the basket again. Puckett, quick launch for three. And there is Jewel Spear on the offensive glass. He said their head coach played for Pat Summit. You know their team's going to play that way. We have to be better than them on the glass. Tamari Key inside for her second field goal. 9-4 here in this third quarter as they try to chip away. That was an 18-point halftime deficit. Rivers open the lane for three. Suffocating Tennessee defensively, not letting them do what they want, just to move easily within a set. Except for that, you go to Rikia Jackson. Jackson has 20. There's Brooks, seven on the shot clock. James gets half a step out of power, then it in the river Baldwin. That 6 7 has given them really solid minutes, not only just here as in the post, but. Being able to close out high on some of the guards. With River Baldwin, the big for NC State on the bench. Tennessee goes right at the Collins key matchup. James hesitation. Counted and the foul. What a finish by Isaiah James. Chance for a three-point play. Toughness on full display by Ten and White. James with the and one. Time after she is not shy about getting to the rim. That is where she wants to go. Jackson has Brooks on the switch. Kari Key at 6-7 has given them really solid minutes. Not only just here as in the post, but being able to close out high. Can't get it to drop. Here come the Wolfpack. Brooks aggressive for two. Trying to get around James. Spear to the basket. Can't finish it. Numbers for NC State. Brooks for two. Freshman, and then again in transition, we have seen this the entirety of the game. For some reason, Tennessee has just struggled. It's Puckett, back out to Darby. Jackson, tough shot, Rakia Jackson, two more, 29. Seems like Rakia Jackson has been playing at an elite level since the first shot she took at Mississippi State, and she keeps it going. 31 for Jackson. Tennessee has outscored NC State 30 to 16 since halftime. Key does it herself. Dropped it off to Brooks. James over Key. Four point game. 
Rivers back to James. James for three. Key backs in, puts it in for two to quiet the crowd. Rivers kicks it over. James. James. Baldwin and the foul. Let's check out her seventh dime on the day. Woo! Crafty finds River Baldwin. Seven point game, 49.4 out of the Tennessee timeout. Here's Jewel Spear. Unlimited range and open look and banks it in for three. Friday. Spear throws it into Jackson. They look for the quick shot. They get it from Rakia. 33 now for Rakia Jackson. Here's the pressure. I touched it last. Let's play. Darby, good three-point shooter. Trying to get her shot. Rivers denies it. Foul Tennessee. A sweet 16 on the line. Hands up. Stays with Darby. Knows what she wants to do. Into the front court. Spear launches for three. This one won't drop. Grabbed by NC State. It's a sweet, sweet 16 for the 16th time. NC State is headed to the sweet 16. They're heading to Portland.